Hey guys, what is up? I am Crystal O and welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm going to be talking about thoughts because we all have them and personally I strive to be as relatable as can be. I never want to feel or seem like I'm far from reality or that you guys feel like you're far from relating to me or even being on a level where we all go through the same hard stuff, right? Obviously, I may not go through everything you go through, but the little that I can share out of vulnerability and authenticity that I go through, I want to be the place where we can all come and just be honest about what we go through and find healing and growth and just the ability to be seen and known. So, that is the purpose of this video today. Um, and let's go ahead and jump into it. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe, like this video if you enjoy it, and let's get started. So, this is very much so a fruit scripted video. Um, the title was not clickbait, the title was not catfish. Um, my thoughts legitimately ruined or have been ruining my life for the most part and I didn't fully mm, let me change that I have known that for the past two years two to three years but I hadn't fully understood another part of it that I'll talk about more in this video so when it comes to just thoughts in general thoughts are extremely powerful and it's a little you know awkward to even talk about just my struggle in this area because I am a therapist so I help other people through these things and it kind of just reminds me of you know um, people who may be good at um, helping others but fail to help themselves or to get help from themselves or they may be good at teaching and sharing but they don't take their own advice so um, I remember watching a sermon by uh, Mike Todd and he mentioned how he believed for miracles for other people but in his own life he didn't believe them for himself and I feel like that's the same way it landed on me as a therapist you know I had all the tools I believed in you know my techniques and what I was sharing with my clients but for some reason I could not wrap my head around the idea that it could actually work for me or that it could actually pertain to me and bring breakthrough so this video is a little bit of a vulnerable place because this is my like professionalism this is my like niche this is like my space it's just the place that I'm more familiar with I went to grad school for and all types of stuff but I would honestly just say that um, my thoughts have been rampant for the past like two to four years um, of like my adult life and I don't know really what triggered it or what caused me to just learn how to habitually go down this path of like negative toxic thinking and it literally was just horrible like up until a few weeks ago um, I'm currently reading this book called get out of your head by Jenny Allen and I'll talk a lot from that book because that book actually inspired me to jump on here and just be like oh my gosh my thoughts are ruining my life like literally and I feel like a lot of us are living in toxic thinking patterns and it may have just started with a season of toxic thinking but the fact is and the unfortunate reality is that once we start to sit in toxic thinking patterns for just a season or a moment those can habitually become patterns we end up living by for years and years to come it is so dangerous it feels innocent right we have that one negative thought and we're like oh yeah whatever I'll just soak in this negativity or I'll soak in this toxic thinking or I'll let it spiral out of control without catching it and putting an end to it right it's innocent in the beginning but eventually it really starts to take a hit at different areas of your life those toxic thoughts can bleed into relationships those toxic thoughts can bleed into your self-esteem those toxic thoughts can bleed into who you've been called to be but also hinder you from getting there because you won't even allow yourself to move past what you believe and think about yourself and I think it's so crazy how much of a hindrance this can be because we don't even realize it we think that this is normal we think this is how it should be but when we fully step back and re-examine our thinking patterns we can see clearly how toxic they might be and how we spiral and fail to just have the ability to catch ourselves before we get to that place 
So talking more about my experience with this is more so, like I said, those toxic thoughts will bleed into every area of your life, whether you like it or not. It's just the spiral of negative thoughts. And this could be in the realm of even just being a content creator. Like my content isn't good enough. No one will ever care to actually like, you know, care for my content or whatever it else. Like I should just give up. I can't keep up. Just different things like that. And I feel like it starts with one thought, right? It starts with one thought. And if we can literally come to the thought level of that thought and challenge it and say, no, oh no, not today. Like we're going at it head to head. That is not true. That is a lie from the enemy. That is a lie from my own beliefs about what others have said about me. And I will not bow to it. I refuse to bow to it. If we learn to go head to head with those negative toxic thoughts, we can learn to then control the emotions that come after it. So. Let's get a little nerdy here. <laughs> so basically, there's this thing called the Cognitive Behavioral Triangle, and this is simply a model or a therapeutical technique in which it addresses our thoughts, then emotions, and then behaviors. So the whole concept of CBT or Cognitive Behavioral Therapy is that your thoughts lead to and impact what emotions you feel, and then those same emotions will impact what your behavior is going to be afterwards. So for example, if I think that I am not good enough, I will be feeling frustrated, right? I'll feel frustrated, I'll feel insecure, I'll feel worthless, I'll feel incapable, and then my behavior, right, will then end up being not going for those opportunities that I believe that I could have had, right? Or it might be selling myself short, or maybe even settling in a relationship. So just all to say that your thoughts have so much power in the ripple effect of what comes to be of your behavior. I don't think we see it like that. I think we think that our thoughts are so innocent. What are you letting into your mind? What are you letting rent out a space in your head? Kick those things out. They don't belong there. If they're causing those spirals, if they're leading to spirals, we have to take charge and we have to kick those things out. And I think a place of breakthrough for me, like literally was just seeing the words I am not a victim to my emotions. I am not a victim to my emotions. And for years, I felt like, oh my gosh, like, you know, they're just gonna come and it happens and we'll ride this wave. But the truth is, I'm not a victim to my emotions and you're not a victim to your emotions either, okay? You have the power through Christ to tear down every lie that tries to contradict or come oppose in the opposition to who God has called you to be. Literally, we have that power within us to do that. So why do we continue to falter? Why do we continue to bow down to negative thoughts and thinking of ourselves when Christ has already stamped us and called us who he has called us to be? So it's a very simply, of course, understandable like idea, but for some reason we don't fully grasp it. And it's so sad. I think it's sad for me in my life. I think it's sad for everyone on here that may have toxic thoughts that, you know, have led to destroying parts of their lives that just aren't supposed to be destroyed. They're supposed to be thriving. Because of toxic thinking, it's almost as if we can't have full joy. And we can have full joy. That's what the Holy Spirit, one of the fruits of the Spirit brings. So it's insane to feel like, you know, I'm finally at a place where I recognize that I am not a victim of my thoughts and that I can interrupt my spiraling. Like I can actually think about that thought and say, oh no, not today. Mm -mm, we're not doing this, right? I think in the past for so long, I had allowed you know, myself to have the thought and then when the feeling came, when it was already probably too late, I almost would tell myself, stop feeling this, stop feeling this, stop feeling this. And I don't know if you know this, but feelings are very strong and you just kind of have to ride feelings out, you know? Whether they're real or not, they feel real and they're there. So it is what it is at that point. But at the thought level, we can attack that so that the feeling that comes after that would be more positive, which would now turn into a positive behavior or a more wanted behavior, if anything. So it's really crazy. And I feel like I've had, you know, day by day breakthrough in this area. I'm still growing. I'm still learning. Um, and I just wanted to share with you guys just really what that journey looks like for me and just toxic thinking like it is a real thing and I feel like I have lived as a victim to it for so long because I felt like there was nothing I could do 
to be free of these thoughts. There was nothing I could do to be rid of them. Like I always had to feel under attack by my thoughts. I always had to feel under attack by what I felt and whatever else. Like I, it's impossible for me to control this, you know? But that's a lie from the enemy. Like my portion is not to live in bondage and your portion is not to live in bondage either. So all that to say, um, if you are on this journey with me or watching this video and you're like, oh my gosh, like I live in toxic thinking and I spiral out of thoughts and into negative thinking as well, you're not alone at all. I am there with you. Um, there's no shame here. This is a safe space for you, for me, and I just hope that this has encouraged you to do that hard work. I will go ahead and link the book that I'm reading in my description bar so you guys can check it out. I'm still reading it on chapter 7, but you know, I work from home so I'm still kind of really busy. But I read it and it's really, really amazing. Um, in the next video I can talk more about some practical steps just based on my background in therapy and also based on the book from a more spiritual standpoint on um, things to do to help break those spiraling and the toxic thoughts and negative thinking. I think that might be helpful. Let me know if it'd be helpful if you'd want to see a video like that and just comment in the comment section if you would. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up here. If you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video and cheers to healing and cheers to freedom from toxic thinking and thoughts that cripple us and make us feel less than. Just cheers to being rid of that because that's ending, like that's ending, okay? Um, it's a process, so don't beat yourself up if the first day you still mess up and you still have that thought that causes a spiral. Just keep pushing forward, keep fighting for that freedom because it's there, it is there, okay? So, Saranara, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!